All right, it's the illusion reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth. This video goes backwards from now to the past. All right, I'm just completing a 38-hour surgical strike from Malibu, California to Arcata, California with two stops in Fresno in between. What's going on here is I'm pretty haggard at this point, man. I've been in this car driving the entire time, except for a couple little respites. But it's the surgical strike that this is all about. My boy called me up the other day because the universe realized the illusion needs some paper for his pocket. And uh, he had to go up to Arcata, take care of some business, and he don't like to drive. And see, I like to drive. So he said, hey, why don't you drive me? And I said, yeah, I'll drive you. So corporate time code is October 14th, 1 a.m. in the morning. I left on October 12th at 11.30 in the morning. Dude, we've been on a whirlwind adventure. My boy's been making phone calls, sleeping, eating burritos, drinking beers, and smoking fat J's the entire time. Me, I've just been driving, drinking rock stars, and eating candy the entire time. So this is what's been going on, man. First thing we left Malibu, we jammed up Coast Highway. You're gonna need a map for this in California, by the way. So get out your map of California, and here we go. We went up, uh, Coast Highway 1 to Santa Barbara, where the, the last message in this video was made, took care of some business there, jammed up from there up to Paso Robles, cut over on the 41, through the beautiful rolling hills of Central California. It was quite scenic, I have a little bit of footage of that for you. Then we cut across the Central Valley to, Fret, to Visalia, where we stopped at a Home Depot, bought a bunch of supplies for a uh, construction project that's going on up in the uh, foothills of the Sierra Nevada mountains above Fresno. So we drove up to the foothills above Fresno, got there at about 8.30 at night, but there's rain, right? And we had to go up there to build some stuff for these dudes working up there, but they're shoal, man. And if you don't know what shoal is, it's a bunch of beat down dudes that just can't get it together. And a shoal basically is like shallow water where you'd run a boat aground. And these dudes were shoal, so they needed some illusion to show up. So I showed up, I slammed together the shed for three hours while my bro just got out of hand pickled, dude. And then I, uh, <laughs> and then I hopped back in the rig and pointed it for Arcata, California. Drove all night via downtown Oakland across the 580, going through Fresno. Vroom, 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 vroom. I slept under these pretty bitchin' redwood trees for two hours at a rest area. Then my bro took over for two hours, drove to Arcata. I sat in the car for an hour. We turned around, drove back down the coast over the Richmond Bridge, waved at San Francisco across the bay, went through Oakland again, down the 580 through downtown Fresno, back up into the Sierra foothills where we had to drop off some more equipment that we picked up along the way. Then we turned around, split there, ate a couple tacos, came down the 99, and then I went over the grapevine where I was just bombarded with electromagnetic radiation, dude, powered through Los Angeles, and I'm almost here, man. But this harks back to the days when I used to be able to drive across country in 60 hours. Los Angeles to New York in 60 hours, man. See, I'm a driver. I believe in cars, dude. Are meant to just fucking cross giant distances. And we did it. Surgical strike, 38 hours. Go look at it on a map, man. I've only slept two hours, right, bro? This dude's been over here sitting shotgun asleep the entire time making phone calls. It's been pretty awesome. I got some good footage of some, oh, I did take one personal stop for myself. I went and hugged some giant old growth redwood trees. That was just for me, a little five minute respite. And Danny, T -T TBH, sorry I couldn't stop and see you in Santa Rosa. It wasn't that kind of a trip. Shallow and lurker, man. 
think I got enough paper to come up and visit you in Santa Cruz. Anyway, enjoy the rest of the video, man. I got to uh, make the final 10 miles here home. It's the illusion. Bah! All right, this will give you some perspective on how big a redwood tree can be. And I would say this is like a three-quarter big one. Now that's a big tree. <laughs> it's the official Redwood Grove here, man. Pretty pumped. Look at that. These aren't even big ones. These are like small ones. But look at him, man. So bitchin'. So fired up. So pumped. So pumped, Misha! So pumped! Yeah, we gotta do a little hugging. We gotta get in there and just hug one. Yeah. I'm just being alive. There it is, man. Redwood Groveness. All right, we're doing a Chevy Chase here from vacation. We're literally right back on the road because we're flying. We're we're flying. Apparently, this grove of redwoods is not safe from the chainsaws of our government. Caltrans wants to wipe this section of the 101 in four lanes, which means all these trees that you're looking at right now potentially could be cut down. And I'm providing the link to save Richardson Grove where you can get more details and information about how you can help save these redwood trees. Just because you live in California doesn't mean you do not have a voice. So let's get busy and help out the people who are trying to help out these redwood trees because there's not that many of them left. It's a shame how chance wants to do this. Remember when you're uh, traveling through California, stay off the main highways and freeways and get on the back roads. You get to see some of the beautiful little gems of California like these rolling grass hills in Central Cali. It really is co comically cosmic how things just constantly lined up. Like, I just now paid my phone bill, right? And if you, like a week ago, nothing was happening, man. I've had a couple miracle moves in the last four days, dude. It's just interesting. Like, when you let go and you let God, man, things really start coming together. That's why I'm on a uh, mystery assignment is... Uh, the universe is providing me with some uh, some resources, man. So once again, right on the razor's ed edge of destruction, it all works out, man. You know, I was thinking about, I remember like two weeks ago, like just totally like so deep and far down the uh, in the hole. I was like, it's going to work out. It's going to work out. There's no other alternative. There's only one way for it to work. It's the, uh, it's the happy trilogy, man. And I don't know, man, I can get all like, uh, I can get all like tripped out about it, but I just, you know, I'm just one of those. I just refuse to believe in anything but the bright side of life, man. It's all a Monty Python movie, man. I don't know if any of you guys check out Monty Python, dude, but go check out, like, The Life of Brian or The Meaning of Life, dude. There, it's That's it. It's, like, sort of a dark comedy, but it's pretty funny if you, uh, if you take a step back and you kind of laugh at it. Real interesting, Mr. Darko, that video you posted up was truly... Truly, twistedly 
epic, man. Yeah, but that's the funny thing, man. I have a uh, pretty twisted sense of humor, bordering on like kind of dark, dark comedy. I always like dark comedies and documentaries about weird stuff, but. So I can appreciate my life when it takes like the downturn because I don't know. T today it's taking the the bright turn. Got called in on special assignment and uh I dig being on special assignment because that's when I operate at my best, man. When the pressure's on. So I just I guess I wanted to just check in cuz I got to check out for a couple days of to just stay positive, man. Everything works out, man. But it's the whole thing of letting it go. Just don't get attached to the numbers, man. Like the numbers, dude. Like, I know, because that goes off in my head, man. It's like, if this number's not met, then I'm done. And it's just take it. My whole thing that I was taught by my spiritual advisor is just take it to where the ego wants it to go. The ego wants it to go to the to the end of the story, right? And the end of the story all is you, you, okay, I can't pay this bill because I can't pay this bill means that this isn't going to happen and then I'm going to be homeless and then when I'm homeless, I want to be living in a bush and when I'm living in the bush, man, I'm going to be dirty and scummy and I'm going to die of starvation. I'm going to die. I'm just going to die. And that's what the ego wants you to constantly think is you're going to die. And why are you afraid of dying? Because you have not made atonement with God, source energy, the universe, or whatever it is, man. And I'm firmly convinced, and I believe because I have faith, that if you truly put your entire self in the hands of a power greater than yourself, it will always work out. And I guess that's half the reason I make these videos is that, dude, I'm living proof of it, man. Two weeks ago, I did not have a dollar. I really don't have a dollar right now. Actually, I got 20 bucks, man. I'm up ahead. But I paid my phone bill, right? So the phone gets to, to keep going for another month. And that that's a miracle. And and it's all it all works out, man, because you get you have exactly what you need, and it's all about being grateful for what you have, man. And today I am super grateful about my ability to go through the dark times and end up in the bright times. Anyway, this is The Illusion on Special Assignment. Peace.